If you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. And if you want to be happy, you're going to have to do the work in deep. Quick fixes become fancy diets to take back your time and live your life for you. Because if you want to be happy, it's going to have to be a lifestyle switch. Oh, we're on. There we go. I've now got to look at the right camera. Oh, you can't see me. How am I going to make this work? <laughs> I was like, I need to be like here because we want to have this in the picture. Maybe I'll sit down. There you go. There, that. there we go. That works. <laughs> we got there. I just need to. So I've got, can't actually see myself on the camera. I can see myself on there. <laughs> it's not that I particularly want to see myself, but it's nice to actually be able to see that I'm in frame. So welcome back for another declutter with me. Um, today we are doing the junk drawer. We've all got them. Um, we've all got them. There might be a junk cupboard. I mean, even Monica Geller had a junk cupboard um, with that one that Chandler eventually found that like random door in the apartment that we never got to see it. And then one day Chandler was like, what's in here? And he found the mess. Well, this is my mess. Well, this one isn't. Okay, so this is, this is, this is what I would refer to as my junk drawer. It's become a bit of a random dumping ground, and I normally would have stayed a bit more on top of it, but because I knew I was doing this, this hasn't really been touched since August. <laughs> like we've used things in it, but we haven't tidied it up. And then this one is overly underutilized. And we use our placemats in here. So we only have three placemats out on the table and we have a set of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have a set of eight. We have four napkins and three of us and a spare napkin, the singular spare napkin. Actually, looks like it needs a clean. That's no good. <laughs> clean ones, no, no, clean ones in here. But we have our napkins in here, um, like and then a box with matches and like the lids. These lids go on the candles in the other room, but. I'm never going to use the actual lids, so they I might as well go as well. Um, but we're going to get to that. And then this is my actual junk drawer. Um, that is not practical in any way, and it's full of lots of stuff that just shouldn't be in here. So this is what we're going to be dealing with today. So as always, what do we start with? Hopefully we know by now. It's categories. What categories do you actually want within the space? So looking at these, I do want my table settings. So stuff in my table settings. Um, something can, there's like a candle category, but it's not actually candles. It's lighter matches and um, the thing for putting the candles out. And um, that is about it. But the other stuff doesn't need to, the, the, this, this little thing can, in fact, I'm just going to take it out now. Give that little wipe out. I'll hoover up after. Um, so yeah, that's candles and things, but there is space for there to be something else in here. I just don't know what yet undecided for space. And um, this side we need cables. So we have the different cables for the chargers. We have two phones plugged in at any one time. At uh, two, not two phone chargers, two phones, two phone chargers plugged in at any one time over there. Um we have pens that we need to have in here. Um, pens, cables, plugs. Then there's like a mini electrical. So my partner keeps a couple of electricals in here. Um, and then I was keeping a little pile of scrap paper in here. But to be honest, we so rarely use it that I'm actually going to put it into the arts and crafts cupboard because that is so close. That's down here. And we are doing an arts and crafts. I think that's next week um, where I will bring my arts and crafts are pretty organized on a trolley upstairs. But my daughter's has got a little bit out of hand again. Um, so that needs another tidy. I'm going to reduce it down for her so it's easier for her to maintain, take out things that she's not interested in that at the moment. Um, I need to pass them on to someone else or put them somewhere else. Um, so the scrap paper is going to come out of here because we just don't use it enough. And the chances are, if I need to write a note, that I'll just grab something out of the recycling bin. Um, 
just not remember that it's here or I'll just text myself or text my partner like we tend to write it on phones um, instead of using the scrap paper um so it's kind of basically pens and cables I'm like looking in here thinking what else would oh is that no I can't remember what that's for but um I guess we could do with the little bits so there's normally here um is a like a tiered where is it Oh, it's over there. I'm hiding behind my boxes. So here's, these are just like the loose boxes I use for organizing stuff and um, before I want to buy anything to fit. But here we usually have a, uh, a vegetable fruit plate thing. Um, and I quite often find myself putting little miscellaneous bits like this, broken bits that I need to glue that are too small to go into the project box. Um, or are going to be needed imminently. If I pick up a little hairband, I'll dump it there. So I'd quite like to have something for that in here as well. Um, so like a little bits pot. So a little bits pot, a cables pot, an electricals pot, a pen pot. And I think that's it. We are doing the landing station at two o'clock. So some of the stereotypical um, junk drawer things are actually in my landing station, at which point I might want to bring some other bits into here but i don't think so i can't don't think of any off the top of my head so that's my categories um so categorize first and then we minimize so minimizing is two stages we have turning off the tap and we have clearing up the flood uh I'm fairly good at turning off the tap the only drips are things like this which is a banana shaped rubber and um, little bits that my daughter will bring in and these keep coming in little elastic bands that appear on spring onions because we like spring onions in this house and just other elastic bands that appear on vegetables and stuff um so the tap here is fairly well turned off um but the obvious tap with the junk drawer is when something new comes in of going do i really need to keep this <laughs> do i really need to keep this um someday items are just not conducive with living a clutter-free life um, so we don't want to be keeping those Sunday items. Um, we want to be letting them go. Um, or if it's for a future project, is putting it where you're actually going to remember that you've got it. So I know for one, we've got some seeds in here that should not be in here. Um, so we're going to take some bits out. So that's part of the electricals. We have that we were going to watch on Sunday, on um, Saturday even, and then I painted all evening, so we didn't get around to it. But there's no reason it should be in here. <laughs> It should be somewhere else. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that was a vegan cheese brand that we liked. So I just need to write that onto my list of um, vegan brands that we like. We met it at a show. Got a lot. We do have a lot of lip balms in here, but I don't feel like we use them from here. So they are going to be relocated to. These are the kind of things that I do want to keep in here. It's cables, battery pack related cables. Plugs. This is all electricals. What's in this one? Cable. So this was obviously me trying to come up with. So this is where I talk about um, organize, systemize and then glamorize. So this was organized. I put all the cables into a little bag and then the system should have been that they went back in the bag. But then it's just not happening. So I'm glad I didn't spend any money on buying a bag. This was an old glasses case one. I realized that system didn't work and therefore I can come up with a new system that will work and um, that won't be in it. So apparently we need a drop bin in here. We're not going to be willing to pick up bags. So some, some places I am, some places bags work. Um, so that's partner's headphones that again, he rarely puts back in the case. So because he doesn't really travel around with them, he wears them and then they go back in his drawer. So um, that is for a watch that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so that's rubbish. What are you? I have no idea. Um, headphone jack to like a charging point. What did you go with? It's always good, isn't it? Can't remember what that went with. I'm going to put that into my cables upstairs. So I have another cable one, ones that we don't use so often. Um, and then it, <laughs> next time I clear out that cable bag, I will um, 
see if we've actually used that one. And if not, then it can go. Okay. Uh, always useful to have a spare plug floating around, but does it need to be in here? That's the question, because we've got that one. We've got two plugged in over there. Hmm. I feel like these plugs could also go upstairs into the plug ones. I feel like Apple plugs, uh, having a few spares is quite useful. I'm just, so I'm being a bit gross. I'm just going to pop the dirt onto the floor and then hoover up because I already need to hoover under this these drawers. So um, it doesn't matter. So there's that. Um, you, what are you? You are a used one, but we have, because so many of them do the same thing. You are the same. And um, that's too long. We rarely use that. So that might as well go. But that is the right size for all the other things. So as long as we've got you are the same as that one. And um, so you can go up. We, we don't often charge. This charges the battery packs. I'm just going to double check it does fit everything. So battery pack. Yes. Battery pack. Yes. Those two cables we're keeping, the two battery packs we definitely want to keep. And the other thing we charge with in this kitchen is this dude. I think, yes, success. So I couldn't tell you the last time we were charging more than one of these items in the kitchen at any one time. So might as well just keep the one cable. Um, that is the spare iPhone one. That is a goner. Like that can just go. There's no redeeming that. <laughs> no redeeming that. Um, oh, these I have. I hate, I hate, who came up with these? So one, it's plastic. Two, do you know, inside there, it's filled with little, little particles of glass. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, fun fact. Um, why, I just, why, no, that's annoying. So that's going on my rubbish pile. What else have we got in here? So we've got a lot of elastic bands. I'm gonna gather these ones together, grouping like with like. little elastic band pot I do have one in our landing station there is an elastic band pot but I don't know what it is our elastic band collection seems to have expanded so when we do the landing station I will add elastic bands to this pot and if then it seems to have too many we will relocate some of them oh there's another one there's another one all these little measury poury things should be with the first aid stuff. Um, now, things like this for us. Um, so that's not actually anything to do with first aid. That is to do with pre-workout. And um, these, quite often these end up in this drawer because we've already got a set in the first aid box. Um, but as we are not decluttering the first aid box right now, I'm just going to do a quick check. No, they are the ones that belong in there. Because um, you do not need to keep one from every pocket packet. I wish they gave you an option of buying the um, Benelin, whatever it is, with with or without a thingy. Because um, I would prefer them without. Uh, what have we got going on in here? Pencil, pencil, pencils, which will be in going into my daughter's arts and crafts. Open these at the same time. <laughs> And then we've got the pens. One, two, three. Ah, it's a silver pen we used to keep down here for something she did at school last year. But I think it's also run out. So that's a definite goner. Uh, chalk pen, because um, we use a lot of glass containers without labels on and stuff like that. Um, so that's actually quite a handy one to have. And then a Sharpie. And this is my least favorite colored Sharpie. So that's why it's allowed down here because all my other ones are in pencil cases in my office because I'm a big Sharpie girl. And um, is it useful to keep one pencil? I think I'll keep one pencil in here for the moment. So three pens, that feels reasonable. 
one sharpie, one chalk pen, one pencil. Um, bubbles, they can go into my daughter's box. They do not need to be in here. For some reason we have some keys, even though keys don't live in here at all. So those can be relocated. The banana rubber can be relocated. We've got some flowers. Um, I feel like that would does make sense to stay in here. I'm not sure what I'm going to group it with. Uh, we have plastic spoon um some screws some washers these have obviously been in here for quite some time do these go with these ones or not yes i think these were some spares that i bought for something and then didn't need to use them all and um, you are rubbish you are rubbish <laughs> You are a goggly eye, <laughs> obviously. And um, I have a small stash of name labels in here for my daughter if I need to label something last minute. Um, cauliflower bites label. I haven't had cauliflower bites for ages, so that can go. Um, so we used to keep these around for labeling food bits and pieces, but we just don't do it very much now. I'm wondering if I even need to keep any of them. Oh, I will keep the first class stamp. That's expensive. Um, it's a label for Edamane, label for Edamane. Um, so we were labeling the bags in the freezer, but we don't have that many. And we found that some, like I've got one bag where the label is still on. It's been through the dishwasher and the label is still on. And I've got other ones where it just it didn't even make it to the freezer. And um, so this is all little screws. That's rubbish. And a button. I believe I know where that belongs and it's not in a straw. Um, so we've got a little screw pile that will be going into the garage and as I probably want this pot I'm going to yeah can't decide on stickers and um, we definitely don't need all of them we don't need those ones those were from weaning pots so those are very old I don't like those ones so those can go it's one of those things like does it take up that much room and um, how much I need it and um, going to keep it's like something will come along where we need a lot of them but I just can't think of when imminently I know my sister wants to do a car boot quite soon so I'm going to give them to her or see if she wants them but I'm going to keep one two three four sheets and I'm going to keep four full sheets but I'm going to relocate them to my office. Um, I think if I was going to go looking for something like this, it would be in my office, it wouldn't be in here. And that's one of the key things is thinking, where would I go looking for this? If I didn't know where it lived, where would I look for it? And that is often a good point, a starting point. I feel like paper clip, safety pin would be useful in here. However, I have a little pot in my makeup drawer and I have some in my sewing kit and I know where those are so this although it might be useful to hear if I was thinking oh, I need a safety pin I would straight I wouldn't even look in here I would straight away go to the other things so that might as well go up too all right what have we got here oh a seed bomb my daughter made this at school um but by the time we got it it was too late to actually plant it so we're saving it for next year so this um oh our garden box needs a sort and I feel like it would get lost in there. So I'm going to put this in my project box because I check that each month and I will remember them and um, at least the month before. And then it can always come back down to here or we'll stick it on the pin board. Um, this was a picture my daughter drew to send to our sponsored child and I need to write the letter to go with it. However, she can draw a lot better than that now. And this is quite old and I need to send her a birthday present anyway, so um, that's going to get in the recycling bin. Right, these bad boys are, so this was um, 
them learning to write last year. They were little cards that they made from school and then they brought them all home. Um, and it's just, she's a really good reader. And I think if she was still struggling, then we probably would keep them and do something with them. But I'm actually going to let them go. I kept hold of them. I put them in here when they broke up in July. Um, and then we didn't do anything with them over the holidays because we got, oops, I'm dropping them on the floor now. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I like shot it across the room. So let's do that. And um, we've now got, we just went to the library and got library books and she was really enjoying her reading. So I don't need to worry about that. And those can go up to my office or actually I never use these. So they might as well go to back to school. That's the only place I can think of that would use them. So they might as well go back to school. Um, I mean, you could just throw these out if you really wanted to, but I don't like wasting things. So I'm not going to going to that we'll have to because it's laminated um, but the rest of them can go and then this was the little sounds that they had to learn spare stare splish splash splosh quick quack Quack's not a word, I made that up. Um, let's tear some of these off, that would be easier. I don't have anyone else I can give these to, so they might as well go. Um, so this was, I'm gonna tear those off in a second. Um, this was her book charting all her reading from last year. Um, and she read so much, they had to tape a whole extra page chunk to the back. Um, but we really, we really don't need to keep that so that can get my recycling. Um, that is a sticker, which means it can't go in the recycling. Oh, don't want to pull that, I might break it. That can go in my back to school pile. So again, we've got another sheet of sticky labels that I think would be better served being in my office. Um, these are arts and crafts related, so I'm going to put them in there and decide to keep those then. Um, vinyl plastic kit instructions patch repair. Cut to the closet depending on the hole. Clean thoroughly the damaged surface of as drawing in 10 minutes. I think this must be something to do with the paddling pool. Um, but again, is going to be no use in here. If I was looking for this, where would I look? Uh, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Probably the toolbox. So I'm going to put that with the toolbox stuff. That's rubbish. Buttons. Old gym membership card. Uh, oh, is this out of date yet? exhibitions and things um world of peter rabbit out of date so that can go i think this might still have some dates in it june july july november december um Jack and Bean stalk tickets are quite expensive, so probably won't be a this year thing. Uh, everything else is about the summer, so that can go. Peter Rabbit Storytime Trail that was in September, so that can go. Oh, this is about autumn, so this is actually the season we're coming into or we're in. Um, November, December. October, November. Um, hmm. Farm and Sam, October. Sure, it's value for money, but the tickets are a lot. 
what am I doing? So we're doing that right now. Another sheet of stickers. We've got a couple of stickers on it. And then, oh, Legoland driving license. Very important keep. Need to put a picture on that. Safety pin. Oh, so the scrap paper pile is pretty small, actually. I think we can probably just put that in the recycling bin at this point. Envelope, envelope. Uh, no, I don't need any of that. So that's a blank envelope, so that will go into the in the arts and crafts bit. We have like cards, blank envelopes, and making cards. You might as well keep that. Um, da, 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 da. I love Legoland. Legoland for the win. She wants me to put her picture on it, so I need to print one off and pop that in there. Um, I find these quite useful, actually. It's keeping a couple of, they're used envelopes, but if I am picking something up from someone and they're not going to be in and they leave it on the doorstep and they need to put the money through their letterbox or something, um, it's good to have an envelope like this. Um, or if I go and get some photos printed instead of using their envelope, I'd use these. So I'll probably try and wait if I include those. This probably goes with this. Yeah. So in here we have some dead fermented caterpillars. I thought that was empty, but that can go. It's because they guarantee the caterpillars into butterflies. They guarantee a certain number of butterflies from your pot and um, ours didn't. So we had to send photos and until they confirmed and refunded and well, they send you another pot. And so they'd send that. I didn't want to get rid of the, the evidence of said butterflies. Uh, so let's put this one through here as well. Da, 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 da. There's so much stuff in this drawer that just does not need to be here. Um, oh, mainly these. <laughs> ah, these are a lot of work to undo. And then I need to have a think about how I want to organise this going forward. It's not a huge amount to come back into it, to be honest, is there? I've reduced and reduced and reduced. Better not sing a song, copyrighted song. Facebook will mute the video again. Um, It's taking forever. Just to save the two little bits of plastic from going into the bin. Last one. There we go. We're out. Those can go back to school. That is all recycling. Another elastic band. Oh, we've got loads of those going on, haven't we? No, but rubbish. Right, I'm just going to put this in the recycling bin before I forget again. Done. Gone. Right, what else is going on here? So we've got. <laughs> Don't feel like this is appropriate for this drawer anymore. Just put it there. And then I'm actually this drawer cut out. No. I'm gonna get the hoover and just hoover out the bottom bits one second. Use the noise. Beautiful. Now we have a nice blank canvas to work from. 
do we want to keep the notepad in here? G sharp chip chip. Bean burgers. I need to keep that. There's a recipe I tried and it did kind of work, so Definitely might as well tear out the pages to get rid of those. It's less to deal with. That one I have typed up already. I'm going to keep this, just this, in here. And I'll stay with that, but let's put it there for a minute. Right. So we've now got all of this is going to be relocated. We've got two cables, two battery packs, a stamp. That's arts and crafts stuff. So when we do that box, that can be sorted in there. Pens. I feel like if the pen pot stays this big, though, more stuff ends up in it than needs to. But I don't think I've got anything significantly smaller at the moment. Good. You aren't big enough for that. Well, that wedge has been in nicely, so I'm going to bring you over the top a little bit better. Oh, Hoover's in the way now. Tip you down. So, what you want to do is not have pots much bigger than what you actually need <laughs> because otherwise you will find so when I had this one for the pens it just felt like there was so much more that could go in there because it's a much deeper pot and um, the pens only need a shallow one if I had a narrower one I would use it and in fact what I probably can do is put those there and then that limits the the penage space something like that um I wish I had the, just another half of that. Yeah, I must be using it somewhere else. What have we got in here? That's just bags. Okie dokie. Um, and then making them fit as tight as possible. So you could buy, obviously, organisers that fit exactly. But as I would say, you want to categorise, minimise, organise, have a system for maintaining it. And then once that is working, then you could look at... Um, buying the things for it. So plain envelopes, the notebook can go in there. Um, mm -mm, what else have I got to go in? Partners electrical bits. I'm gonna see what fits in here. Oh, I'd have thought that was similar. It's not as big. Oh, I could just do that and see, can I? So we got that one there. That can be iPad, and then what you can do is stick those down. Um, mm. So we've got going on. Like 
So I mean you could do that and then you've got you kind of made a pin pot out of it. And I'm gonna stick these ones down. That could work. Now we've got that fit. configuration and then we've got this long space here what to do is put that one there so that becomes your pen pot um, actually that's there and that gives a cable spot and the headphones I've had and then my miscellaneous bit. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put the bits in for the teachers today there. There we go. That's got everything in it, hasn't it? Sorted. So I'm gonna they don't move around too much, so I'm gonna let them stay as is for a while and just make sure it's working. Um, and then if it is working, I can tap them down. I mean, these are all, they're not, there's not a huge amount of height variation. And so it's something like I would probably just at some point spray paint these so they all match and then be done with it <laughs> and not worry about buying something specific for it, particularly um, in a rented space. There's not much point in buying little dividers like this and little dividers like this can be really expensive and add up really quickly. These are just lids mainly off boxes that I keep hold of um, of different things. Um, if I do stuff with clients as well and they've got lids that we're throwing out, I might I just rescue them and do something with them. Um, I feel like I'm gonna put something in there, but I don't know what. <laughs> a cork maybe, put a little cork in there um, or something, something square to sort of hold that in there. Um, or I might just, I've got some paper clips upstairs, so I might just put some paper clips on there to hold them in place so that they don't move around so much. But da da, looks nice and neat. It's still got a little space for the random things. So that's fine. Created a little pen pot there that's the right size. I've got somewhere to put the elastic bands. I'm going to get the elastic bands out of the other pot on here. Is there anything else in here that could do with being moved? Uh, da, 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 da. No, everything else is quite happy in there. So these elastic bands I'm going to move to here. I've got any drawings, paper clips in here. Oh, yeah, this one. Hold that in there. Don't really need that in here. I need a hole in here. And another paper clip. Don't use paper clips very often. It's a teeny tiny one, so that's a good one. It can go on there. Just hold those in place a little bit more. And then blue trap and pins. There's now a bit more space for those in here too. Are you going to be big enough? No. You will be, no? Okay. Yeah, that one doesn't work in there. So I could do with another two safety pin uh, paper clips. Now we'll find at some point. I'm going to leave these three in here now there's a bit more space without the rubber bands. And in fact I'm actually going to relocate this into this drawer 
and no, I have a okay. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm gonna keep it in here. Okay. Round a bit. So I need two more, two more paper clips from upstairs that will hold those two in place, and then it can't move very much at all. Um, and then I can just put a little blob of um, museum gel or museum putty. The jar's quite big. It's quite expensive, but it lasts a long time. So if you're going to be doing lots of drawers, it's worth the outlay um, and then do them all. But wait. Um, oh, yeah. Bit of double sided sticky tape. Nothing too sticky. You just want to stop it from moving around too much. Um, and that's that. And then what I will probably do with this, um, how long have we been? Oh, I think we have time, is I'm going to make some little labels to stick in the bottom of here. And then what's happened here is I've realised that I don't, <laughs> there's nothing else to go in here. So I'm going to use some of those to put those in. Will those fit in there? No. Let's fit in there. There we go. They fit nicely in there. Um, yeah, no, leave those like that. That one. Matches. I feel like the matches can just be in there. They don't really need a, a box of any kind. I'm going to hoover the bottom of that one as well. Oh! It's just about slowly reducing it down because mine obviously there wasn't a huge amount in there to start with so your reduction might look a bit more like my starting one did with quantity of stuff but you've arranged it a little bit more and then you get a feel for what you actually do and don't need in your life and then you'll be willing to reduce it down a little bit more and it just goes step by step um and reducing reducing over time i think if we do a massive big purge in one go, um, it can just become a bit too much. We can just feel like we've um, we've lost too many things or we start panicking. We're letting go of too many things. So um, do not panic about getting rid of everything all at once. It's about a little reduction goes a long way and start reducing things down. And um, I'm quite happy with with these. I think this looks neat and tidy. Um, I've got space in here for others. So at Christmas, we often put a lot more in this drawer over here um, because we'll have things like our Christmas table decorations some spare candles out for topping up decorations and things. So this one will have a few more bits in. I'm just going to get my label maker so I can label each one of these and then everyone knows where everything goes. So one second, because that is in the garage. Um, some people have a tool bucket i have an organization bucket of course it's teal oh there you go so that's a museum gel um, it's like a, this one's clear, but you can get a putty one if you're not worried about being clear, which is a little bit cheaper. Um, but it's it just lasts it just lasts for ages. I mean, I haven't used this jar yet. So satisfying. But, um, right. What colour shall we go? We've got pink in at the moment. I think I might just go white so it stands out a bit more. We've got purple, pink. Did I finished my blue one. I must have finished it. Oh, the blue one must have run out. Um, white and black, pink or purple. Number pink. 
Oh, I've got pink. I might ask Father Christmas for some more colours. Um, so we need to delete all the writing that's in there. Text and format. Large, do I want to go? Bold, outline, shadow, italic. Italic with an outline. Bold, outline. Let's give it a shadow. It'll be fun. Um, right. Let's go with. Let's, 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 a small I, capital P. iPads. One, two, three. Uh, cables and headphones. Cables. And the thing is, everyone needs different categories, so. That's why I don't buy sets of labels because you end up with loads of labels you don't actually need. Um, cables and head. Oh. Headphones. One, two, three. So fun trick, if you've got one like this, is they always put loads of extra on the ends of the labels. Um, so what I do is I try and do a couple of labels in one and put three spaces in between. It gives me enough space to cut and leave a little gap at the end of each word, uh, but it doesn't waste so much of the label. Fun fact. Uh, so we've got pens. I'm just going to write pens. I don't think we need to write pens and pencil. Uh, the rubber bands is fairly obvious. Um, scrap. Scrap got an E on the end. Scrap. No. Queen of dyslexia. Two, three. And then we've got battery packs. Two, three. And then we've got randoms. Bits. Oh, there we go, I ran out of space. Um, so do random. One, two, three, Let's see if I can get pins in. Yeah, just about. So if I just write random instead of random small things, it fits all in one go. And we get one copy. The little pretty. The pretty. So easily closed. Let's get some. Oh, now I've got my scissors. Um, sat on them. So it all comes out in one, and then you cut them up and it saves because otherwise look I don't know if it'll show on there it's so that much is just wasted at the beginning and end whereas that much is just wasted between the two and um, things so we are going to cut those up my pads um, and this just means, particularly with a space like this that has been a bit of a dumping ground, when anyone else comes to use it now, they'll look in and be like, oh, well, that's where the thing went. Especially if, like for the iPad corner, there's only one iPad in there. Um, my daughter's one usually stays in her, she has a little zip up bag in my office. Um, that it lives in. In fact, I might start keeping that in here with her headphones on top of it. That might be better. I might move that in here. Um, 
but it just means that like if both of the iPads are out and you come to get put it back in, you're not just going to open the drawer and throw it in because you can spot uh, where it goes. Same with like the battery packs. If both of them have been out in use or you've been using the pin pot, you can just open it up and see, oh yeah, that goes there. And to be honest, this is just as much for me as it is for other people in my house. <laughs> Even when I have set up a system, don't always remember where I wanted to go or I will be thinking about something else. Um, when I come back to my, to like when I'm putting it away, I'll be on the phone or whatever. And if I've just got a little label somewhere, I can go, oh, okay, yeah, that's where that goes. Pins. Um, then I can not think about it. I can just look at the, look at the sign that says pins. I know where to put my pin pot. Um, I need that and I'll post it. A little reduction goes a long way. Yes. Um, make that into an infographic. Little reduction goes a long way. Um, because it's it's training is like a little when we first start going, we first start going to the gym and you lift the small weights and you slowly build up to living lifting bit bigger weights. And um, it's because you have you start with those small ones and our decluttering muscle will build over time and we get better and better at it. Um, having less is not natural to me it makes me very happy to have less but it is not a natural feeling it's something I've had to work on um, sorry about that. Um, and reduce over time very very much come from a scarcity mentality and panic um, every time I change jobs I usually go on some sort of shopping spree even if the change of job was was reducing my financial stability and um, I would go shopping and um, just had panic panic and um, scrap paper cables and headphones just that away um, and slowly over time I've got a lot better like for me having deciding my no spend rules at the beginning of the year and writing them all up and having them stuck on my wall even when I don't always just read the rules just reminds me that I have set myself boundaries for what I'm willing and not willing to spend money on um, and I like that I like that that makes me happy I find it very useful let me go That's it, yep. I mean, it's obvious. It's obvious where pens go, but what's obvious to one is not obvious to many. And it just reminds us where we want things to be. There we go. So that's as glamorized as I would go at this point, like putting on some little labels. Um, and like I said, I quite like these, so I probably won't bother. They all fit the purpose nicely. So even if the system does work, I probably won't change this. I might take them out and glue them together. Um, and then stick them down a little bit more. Can be honest, and then stick them down a little bit more. Um, I might find a more plain, like that's a bit crazy, that one. So I might find a slightly plainer pot to put there instead um but other than that i'm quite happy with that i will take a picture i'm gonna turn those over so my daughter's neighbors in the picture and um, i will take a picture of it and pop it on my instagram so you can see um but let's do a little angle down of what we've got so pretty so pretty and um, oops sorry so like this one, it says underneath that it's got scrap of paper. So you know the book goes back in there. Everything, a place for everything and everything in its place. So pretty. And if I wasn't talking, I could have done that in about 20 minutes. <laughs> it, did, it did not need to, it did not need to take quite so long. Um, so we've got, let me just check my heads and frame this. <laughs> um, so we have got two o'clock, I'm doing my landing station, which is over there. 
Um, so that is where you come in and put things like your keys, your coats, your shoes, that kind of stuff. So also coat cupboard. Uh, for us, it's landing station and coat cupboard. We have a landing station attached to the inside of the door of the coat cupboard. Um, so we're going to be going through all of that and adjusting for the seasons as well. Um, so very excited. And um, I'll be back at two o'clock, but I need to tidy up the rubbish <laughs> um, and make myself some lunch because uh, I didn't have any breakfast. So I'm going to have a really early lunch instead. Uh, I will see you soon. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments. But yes, otherwise, I'll be back at two o'clock. Ta-ta for now.